What if we told you that Manchester City, Pakistan's cricket team, and F1 racing are allegedly being used as a PR exercise for the UAE? Amnesty International has accused Abu Dhabi of attempting to quote, sports wash its deeply tarnished reputation. It has invested billions in a variety of sport clubs, institutions, and infrastructure. But with no discernible sporting history, why has the UAE put its money on sports? The UAE, specifically the royal families of Abu Dhabi and Dubai, has focused its investments on a couple of key areas. In football, the Abu Dhabi royal family owns six clubs around the world, including English champions Manchester City. Since it bought the club, they have won three English Premier League titles, a Football Association Cup and more, making it a huge success story. And this success has shaped the conversation around the Gulf nation. But this hasn't come cheap or without controversy. So far, they have officially invested $1.3 billion in the club. But recently published leaks have exposed that the owners avoided financial regulations to maintain their success. Dubai has also invested in football through Emirates sponsorships of major clubs including AC Milan, Real Madrid and Arsenal FC. Abu Dhabi has also invested heavily in Formula One racing and hosts the season-ending race. It has developed a $500 million purpose-built track surrounded by a mall, a hotel and multiple theme parks. Each F1 race provides a platform for the host to reach out to 352 million global viewers. It's also delved into the cricketing world, constructing two purpose-built stadiums in Abu Dhabi and Dubai, which has hosted the Pakistani national side since 2009 and the Pakistani Super League. The International Cricket Council, the sports governing body, is also headquartered in the UAE, and it has hosted the Asian Cup three times, most recently in 2018. In tennis, Abu Dhabi has hosted a yearly event since 2009, and Dubai has hosted an official Association of Tennis Professionals event since 1993. The events have attracted sport's biggest stars and have million dollar prizes. And now, Abu Dhabi is in the race to be declared the world capital of sports. With how much they have invested in the industry, what is Abu Dhabi trying to cover up? Amnesty International reports the UAE is using sports to cover its human rights abuses, such as its involvement in Yemen or taking sides in war-torn Libya as well as its restrictions on freedom of expression and the torture and ill-treatment of detainees. Its treatment of migrant workers has also had little effect on their reputation. Even though the workers face low pay, exploitation, confinement and physical and sexual abuses under the kafala system. But the headlines surrounding the UAE have often avoided mentioning its sports washing, focusing instead on its sports investments and the success of its teams and events, which has been helping them build a positive reputation around the world. But have sports allowed them to avoid damage to their image?